Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first video of 2024 and in this video, I am going to tell you what all things are still working in 2024. I've got a lot of comments, a lot of questions from you guys that can we still use the same strategies, same shortcuts we used to use in 2023? The answer is yes, for most of the question types, you can still use the same templates, same strategies, but I have, you know, uh, broken this video into five different parts. I am going to tell you each and every part where you can use the strategies or which part you need to be very careful when it comes to using the shortcut or strategy. We'll start off with write from dictation, then we'll move on to the templates for essay and summarize spoken text, then summarize written text, then speaking templates. That is one area where a lot of students are struggling nowadays. And lastly, we'll have a look at one line strategy in read aloud. So without any further delays, let's get into the video. Very first question, very first doubt, can we still add extra words in write from dictation? Will we lose any points if we add extra words in write from dictation? First thing, what do I mean by adding extra words in write from dictation? This is a shortcut which we told you last year that whenever you are doubtful about the spellings or you're not really sure about the right word or singular or plural word in write from dictation, you can add an alternate word. For example, um, there are many boys in the ground. You're not really sure if it was boy or boys. So you can write there are many boy space boys in the ground. If you're not really sure about the spellings for ground, you can write G R O U N D G R U N D. Whatever you are not really sure, you can add extra words. So how the system works, computer is going to pick up or mark you for the correct words you have written and you are not going to lose any points for the incorrect words you have written. In 2024 as well, you can add as many extra words you want. You are not going to lose even a single point in your listening and writing. How can I say that? A lot of our tutors and students have got the desired scores adding extra words in 2024 in write from dictation. A student has, today itself has got 90 in all the modules. He's from India, I'll attach the scorecard over here. He also added extra words in write from dictation, you, so you don't really need to stress about it. In 2024, you can still add extra words in write from dictation where you are doubtful and you are not going to be penalized for that in any of the modules. Next question, question number two, doubt number two, can we still use templates in summarize spoken text and essay? This question I've been getting a lot lately and the answer is yes, with a condition. You can still use the templates in summarize spoken text and essay, but you need to make sure you understand this thing that template by itself will not help you get the scores. You need to make sure that you make the template work for yourself. What do I mean by that? If you're using the template, you need to have proper keywords and relevant content from the lecture or from the essay in your response or in your answer as well. If you're just writing a summary, but there are no important keywords from the lecture, or if you're writing an essay and essay is just a fixed structure, you don't have any keywords or you don't have any content relevancy from the topic, you are not going to get the scores. So templates are still working, but you need to make the template work for yourself by adding relevant keywords and content. For example, in summarized spoken text, you should have around seven, eight keywords related or from the lecture with correct spellings. In essay, you need to have few keywords plus all the keywords from the essay topic in your answer. For example, essay topic is television plays an important role in spreading news in the world. So important keywords are television, important role, news, world. So you need to make sure all the keywords which are in the essay topic are there in your answer, in your response, and you will get your desired scores using the template in essay and summarize spoken text. So the answer is yes, templates are still working, but you need to be very careful when you are adding content and keywords. Question number three, um, a lot of students are not sure. Can you still write exactly the same sentences when it comes to summarize written text? Means, can you copy and paste the same sentences or do you need to frame a summary by yourself? You can still write the same, exactly the same sentences from the passage in your answer and join those using connectors. If you're not really sure about this trick, I'll attach the link in the description box for summarize written text. In that, what you need to do is, you just need to select two, three or four sentences, join the sentences using the connectors and you'll be 100% fine. You can still use this particular trick. You can select exactly three, four sentences or two, three or four sentences from the passage and write them using connectors. Make sure you're within 75 words. You do not write more than 75 words. You only use one full stop and you'll be fine. 
this trick is still working so you don't really need to uh, you know work a lot on this you don't really need to spend a lot of time practicing this just connect three four sentences using connectors and you will be 100 percent fine next question you know this is one of the most commonly asked question in the last 15 days are templates still working in retail lecture and describe image we are not really getting the scores in extended speaking what has changed has anything changed do we need to change anything something's changed um, i used to get 90 now i'm getting 75 what's going on templates are still working in retail lecture and describe image but one thing which i have noticed especially in 2024 is that students who are not speaking clearly are not getting the scores so not just your fluency and your content the main factor which will decide if you get your desired scores or not is your pronunciation is your clarity so what students do is in describe image and retail lecture they just cram or memorize the template and then they speak too fast they just focus on their template part they just focus on the speed and they're not at all concerned about their pronunciation if you actually want to get your scores in describe image and retail lecture you have to maintain a flow for fluency you don't have to go too fast or too slow but the main thing which you have to focus is on speaking clearly if you speak clearly if your pronunciation is on point 100 percent templates are going to work but if you are not speaking clearly we are not able to or the system is not able to understand what you are actually saying you are not going to get scores in extended speaking which means your describe image and read a lecture so templates are working but make sure you speak clearly as clearly as possible so that you can get your desired scores in the very first go um, describe image go around 20 seconds read a lecture 25 30 seconds add keywords both in describe image a few keywords and around 10 12 keywords in your read a lecture and you will get your scores another thing to see how much you're getting in pronunciation to see how you have to speak clearly how you have to improve clarity of your words you can just go on languageacademy.com.au register um, practice describe image and retail lecture for every word you speak you will get what you have spoken what is the correct pronunciation what is your score per word and words where you're getting low score every time right you can skip those words so that you do not make the same mistake what you're making while practicing and your pronunciation score can go up so you just need to go register on language academy and practice over there last question many students have asked me is one line strategy still working in read aloud 120 percent it is when i released one line strategy last year last last year i guess i told you the day this strategy will stop working i'll make a video myself on youtube and will tell you not to follow this one line strategy if you're not really sure what is one line strategy in read aloud it is a strategy whereby you don't really need to read whole passage you just need to read eight to 12 words from the passage but you have to speak clearly and you get full points in speaking as well as in reading a lot of students do doubt that they'll get full points in speaking but not in reading that's not the case you will still get full points in reading as well if you speak clearly if you do not speak clearly you are not going to get the scores um, now a lot of students do ask me how do we check if one line strategy is actually working for us you just need to go on languageacademy.com.au um, go to practice material practice read aloud this one line strategy mode you select it practice over there see how much score you're getting if you're getting more than 70 75 plus if you're aiming for 8 each if you're getting more than 65 if you're aiming for 7 if you're aiming for um 6 6.5 if you're getting around 60s one line strategy is working for you so one line strategy will 100 percent get you full scores in speaking and reading given that you speak clearly now to sum up this video you can still add extra words in write from dictation templates do work for essay and summarized spoken text but you have to make sure you add proper and relevant keywords um, you can still use the shortcut or the strategy method in summarized written text where you have to just connect three to four sentences using connectors read a lecture describe image templates will work but if you're not speaking clearly if you're just going too fast if you're just crammed or memorized the template and you're speaking too fast it's not going to help you anyway so it's not just the template which will give you the scores it's more about how you use and how clearly you speak will get you the scores and lastly one line strategy is working you have to speak clearly follow the strategy properly i'll attach a link in the description box of how you have to use one line strategy and if you follow it properly 100 percent you will get your desired scores in the very first go i hope the video was helpful to practice just go on languageacademy.com.au register there's one free full scored mock test with scorecard with in-depth feedback available even if you don't want to practice a lot of questions i request you to make sure you at least take that 
full scored mock test before you go for the test so that you know what mistakes you're making where you have lost points in the mock test so that you don't repeat the same mistake in the test and you get your desired scores in the very first go if you need any help we have got our branches in india and australia and nepal as well and we do provide online classes you can contact us on any of these numbers and we'll be more than happy to help you with training or any other help you need lastly if you want me to cover any other topic you're finding anything difficult let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you try to we'll try to make a video on that because my soul purpose is to make sure you don't waste your time you don't waste your money and get your desired scores in the very first go and if you ever get your desired scores watching my videos do let me know that is something i work for and that will keep me going on lastly just go on languageacademy.com.au practice and get your desired scores in the very first go that's it from this video happy new year and i'll see you very soon till then take care and stay safe and never ever give up if i've done it if thousands of students are getting the desired scores every day you can do it as well just do not give up work smartly follow the right strategies implement the strategies properly and you will get your desired scores thank you